So we managed to check out the Urban Glide 3, the newest version of an off-roading model from Thula that we've been fans of for a long time now. And we wanted to put out a video going over what has, as well as unfortunately what seems to have not, changed with the model. Where, as far as the stats go, the Urban Glide 3 is half a kilo heavier than the Urban Glide 2, at 11.9 versus 11.4 has essentially the same folded dimensions of 88 by 58 by 31 centimeters, the same weight capacity in the seat, and a higher capacity of 7 kilos in the underslung basket, versus 4.5 on the previous model. Mechanically, the biggest change with the Glide 3 is the brake system, which is obviously more internally complex now, though at least rotation-based, rather than using wires, having shifted out the more simplistic, older design to be flip-flop friendly since, you know, we're all hiking in flip-flops. Think about hiking in flip-flops, yes. In addition, there's also a possibility of internal changes within the front wheel housing, as the main front frame component has been redesigned, at least on the outside. I'd have to get inside the mechanism to know more about this, but any strengthening here would be very welcome in my opinion, to increase durability against wear from jogging. As far as the seat is concerned, the Glide 3 sports new textiles, a more extendable canopy, which can now be extended without leaving wide open ventilation panels, and an adjustable leg rest, where, though the mechanism involved is a bit rudimentary, it does the trick, and is quite nice to have, especially with younger toddlers. The one change that I was looking forward to more than anything else on the model were widespread claims of a more upright seat. And while it's definitely possible that the Glide 3 is a little more upright than the Glide 2, it's still too sloped in my opinion, which is a bit of a bummer as the way the textiles connect to the frame denies the use of third-party sit-up straps and Thula themselves have not put out a seat liner padded in a way to correct the angle. That being said, the updates that they've made to the model are still nice and the Urban Glide remains one of the best off-roaders on the market in my opinion. If you've had any experience with it, please leave a comment below for other parents, with anything you feel they should know about the model. In addition, if you're currently shopping for a stroller, we have a buyer's guide on our Patreon page which lists a wide range of models that we recommend, with a lot of technical and lifestyle related information. You can find it by following the link in the description. Thank you.